Amen. God bless you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the uh, uh, Revelation chapter 11. And and I still, you know, I was talking about the fact is that we're still trying to put to bed that that uh, being caught up with the church and those who have passed away being caught up uh, to beat the Lord in the air. And and I, I sit there and tell you again, I just want to remind you again, uh, the people who are going through this, uh, the wrath of God, uh, the tribulation time, you, unless you're going to fit this pattern, I don't think most of you do. Because most of you would, if you did, I don't think you would have not repented. <laughs> uh, so it's Revelation 9. Look at this. It says, uh, let me see. What do you see? This 19. 9, 19. For their power is in their mouth and in their tail. These are the equipment. Of, these are the beasts or actual military equipment that was going after people. And in their tail. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads with them that do hurt, right? In verse 20, and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented. And that's what I'm trying to say. I, I, I can't imagine if you do go through the uh, tribulation time, I can't imagine you, you're not re repenting. But these people yet repented not of their works, of their hands, that they should not worship devils, Huh? And idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. I, I just can't imagine you doing that. But, you know, those people want to go through the tribulation. I hope that you, if you're going to go, make sure you repent and make sure you're not worshiping devils and idols, right? It said 21, neither repent the day of their murders. And you, you, I know you, you can't be the church and, and, not get caught up, right? Nor of their sorcery, nor of their fornication, nor of their theft. Ooh, who, who fits that category anyway? Hmm. I mean, don't forget the people that did the Jim Crow laws. Don't forget the people that did the slave trade. Don't forget the people that did the crusade. Don't forget the people that did the Spanish Inquisition. Don't forget those people. And don't forget their children and children's children. If they taught and passed them that junk along, if they taught them to worship their flesh and said and make that their idol and won't repent for that. Well, may those people will definitely go through the tribulation time period. Maybe they will repent and maybe they won't. But uh, I would if I was going through that. So forget that. I don't want to feel. I ain't fit none of those categories on murder and stuff. Come on. All right. Now Revelation chapter twelve verse one. Uh, this one is talking about the first subtitle called The Woman and the Dragon. This is interesting. Let's see what he's talking about. Verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, and a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Mm -hmm. Sound like children of Israel, right? And, bear, and she bare with child cried travail in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared unto another wonder in heaven. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. I'm thinking this is the birth of the, the church, as far as I'm concerned. And behold, a great red dragon, that devil, huh? having seven heads and ten horns and ten crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. And did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And that, that sound to me is like the Christ coming in, right? The, the, I'm talking about 2,000 years ago, right? But it's some kind of symbolic here of a child, right? Uh, and like I said, a lot of stuff in Revelation, a bunch of, a lot of metaphors uh, during the Revelation time period. You really need to sit down and, and really research those things. But we're just trying to read, get through it, right? It's the best I can. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. That's that's Christ. So that's her talking about Christ. Uh, and her child was caught up unto God into his throne. Sound like say that remember Christ's resurrection, then was caught up in the air. 
And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God that she should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. See, they're going back and forth on their situation. Uh, subtitle here is the same throws down, thrown down the earth. Now it's going, it's going to a different time period. That's what you see in, in Revelation. Uh, because now we're talking about before time where the angels fought in heaven. Verse 7, and there was a war in heaven. And we're talking before uh, we all came, right? Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels, right? And prevail not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, see? And Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angel was cast out with them. Hmm. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. See, that's what I'm talking about. The, the devil and his angel, all he does is trying to uh, accuse you and put you down and condemn you. That's all he wants to do, you know? Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. That's that's being a strong believer. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that his time, that he has but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. These in Israel, right? And we talking about the real Israel. We ain't talking about those who call themselves Jews and are not. The real Israel, right? Verse 14. And the women were given two wings of a great eagle. That's what we think. Some people think that could be the United States because we're the only nation that has rep, uh, 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 what call, the, the animals that we have for us represents the United States. It's the eagle, right? The bald eagle, right? So it said two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and time and half a time from the face of the serpent. That, that's Israel being protected by the, the uh, country, right? And the serpent cast out her mouth water. Okay, verse 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water, that's words, as a flood after the woman, just using all kinds of propaganda, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood, right? Then you got people that hate Jews and want to kill Jews, even the people that call themselves Jews, they want to go and kill them. And then the ones that they, we, they try to tell, make us lose our mind and forget that we're Jews, they did all kinds of nasty things to us. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood with the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnants of her seed. Huh? which keep the commandments of God, keep the commandments of God, and have a testimony of Yeshua Christ. That's the Messianic Jews, as far as I'm concerned, right? God bless you, man. Look at this stuff. But there's a lot of metaphors, and it is shifting in time period. You can see it. It jumps back and forth. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, we ain't going to be there. <laughs> I'm trying to say, if you're a believer, you don't have to be there. And all I say, if you confess, Romans 10 out of 10, you confess your mouth, the Lord Yeshua, and believe in your heart that God raised the dead, thou shalt be saved. For the heart man believes in righteousness, and the mouth confess you made of salvation. Amen? God bless you. And don't forget, Christ did not come to call the righteous, because they're always going in the right direction. He come to call sinners repentance. That's you, me, and anybody else that wants to go into the right direction. Repent means change your heart, change your mind. God bless you. Start going in the right direction. Amen? God, thank you for listening. We'll see you in chapter 13. Bye-bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,